Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about answering the question, what is a proportional relationship? You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. A proportional relationship is a relationship between two variables where their ratios are equivalent. Another way to think about this is that one variable is always a constant value times or divided by the other variable. This constant value is called the constant of proportionality. The constant of proportionality is always represented by the variable k. In order to determine if two values are proportional, you have to see if you can multiply by the same constant in order to go from one value to the other. You could also use division to see if you get the same constant. If the constant is equal for all the values, then it is proportional. We could use multiplication or we could use division to determine if this relationship is proportional. For the first two, I'm going to use multiplication. And the last two, I'm going to use division. In order to go from our x column to our y column, to go from 2 to 20, we would multiply times 10. So 2 times 10 is 20. For the next value, you would do the same thing. 8 times 10 is also 80. So we're going from 8 to 80 by multiplying by 10 and 2 to 20 by multiplying by 10 as well. You could use the same process, but in reverse if you want to use division instead. So to go from y to x, 60 to 6, we would divide by 10. And then 70 to 7, we would also divide by 10. So this is proportional because the constant in between the values is equal. Because we are either multiplying by 10 or dividing by 10, the constant of proportionality is 10. Let's do a couple practice problems on our proportional relationships worksheet. So looking at number one on our proportional relationships worksheet, it gives us a table with x and y values. It asks us if it's proportional. And then if it is proportional, it wants to know the constant of proportionality for our proportional relationships equation. In order to determine if this is proportional, we have to figure out if we are multiplying by the same amount to go from the x column to the y column. So to go from 2 to 4, we're going to multiply 2 times 2 is 4. To go from 1 to 2, we're going to multiply 1 times 2 is 2. To go from 7 to 14, again, it's times 2. And then to go from 5 to 10, again, we're multiplying times 2. So because we are using the same constant of proportionality of multiplying times 2, we know that this is proportional. Our constant of proportionality is going to be 2. Jumping down to the second problem on our proportional relationships worksheet, again, we have to figure out what the constant of proportionality is and then use it to write our proportional relationships equation. So in order to go from x to y in our first row, 9 to 0, we have to multiply 9 times 0 is 0. To go from 3 to 6, we do 3 times 2 to get 6. To go from 2 to 10, we do 2 times 5 to get 10. And then 6 to 3, we do 6 times 1 half. So 6 times 1 half is 3. So is this proportional? The answer is no. And I know it's not proportional because all of our multiplication gives us a different constant to multiply by. If they were proportional, all of these would be equal. The last one we're going to complete on our proportional relationships worksheet is number three. Again, this gives us the same setup of a table. It asks if it's proportional, and then if it is proportional, it wants us to complete the proportional relationships equation. To go from 5 to 15, we can multiply times 3. To go from 1 to 3, we multiply times 3 again. To go from 4 to 12, we multiply times 3 again. And then finally, to go from 3 to 9, we multiply times 3. So this is proportional, and the constant of proportionality for our equation is 3. So k equals 3. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.